Assalamu alaikum. alaykum, hello everybody. This is Rafat Lar'ir from the Islamic University of Gaza. This is our first official class uh, on Shakespeare, which is an advanced course taken at the Islamic University at the English uh, department. Uh, today, I'll ask a question and we'll try to see what answer we have for this question. The question says, why Shakespeare? We spoke a little bit about Shakespeare last time what it means to study Shakespeare, but we'll get into more specific uh, details today to examine this issue, to talk about this person, why he is significant. Last time I spoke about how important it is for you uh, who are studying uh, English to be translators or teachers or writers or uh, lecturers, university professors or journalists or anything to know Shakespeare, to study Shakespeare, to appreciate uh, Shakespeare. So uh, the question is, why Shakespeare? It's going to be answered in a bit. But before I do that, I have this according to what uh, some of you told me and the Facebook uh, group, the question I raised. This is what I have in mind so far about the class assessment. We could change this, tweak this a little bit. Uh, so I'm suggesting uh, 10 marks for attendance and participation, uh, 10 marks, uh, five marks for a presentation of your own choice. But I want you to wait a little bit until we study something about Shakespeare. So you can choose a good topic and you can do it in a, in a good way. Uh, a performance, also five uh, uh, minutes for, five marks for a performance. The performance could be a soliloquy, could be a dialogue. I'll give you more information later on. There will be a quiz or two quizzes. I just I haven't made my up my mind yet. Quiz one, 10 marks. Quiz two, 10 marks. Or we could change quiz two into an assignment. I have an interesting idea for quiz two. We will see about that. The midterm is going to be out of 20. And uh, because you said you like the social media posts, uh, I'll give you 10 marks for that. It's similar to what we did in the, uh, in the poetry class, but if you didn't attend the poetry class with me last uh, semester, I'll explain this again. It's not difficult. Uh, uh, and all I want you to do is to post uh, a quote from Shakespeare or something about Shakespeare twice a week, and you just give me a screenshot. I'll give you details later on. The final could be out of 30. I don't like final exams to be, you know, uh, very long. So you are, you know, like out of 60 or 50. So we can make it out of 30. Hopefully this is going to stick. For bonus marks, I told you, if you do an activity, we can talk about later on, group activity, taking into consideration the social, uh, the, the, the situation under uh, the coronavirus. Uh, I'm not sure if, if we can do some activities. If we can't, I'll be suggesting some readings. I'll post articles or books. Uh, and I tell you, if you read this or part of this or this chapter or that chapter, I'll give you this and that. Okay, but please don't ignore the whole course and focus on the bonus. Yani bonus, you could take, for example, I'll read all the great books here, I'll give you five points. You'll go to the whole school to take the five points. No. Focus, study, the course is the priority. If you have time, if you want extra more, you can do the, uh, the readings. So if you just Google image Shakespeare, you'll have so many uh, pictures. I Googled uh, Shakespeare and I got the first uh, two rows of, uh, uh, of pictures here. We'll talk about who Shakespeare is next class. Some of these pictures are similar, but some are a little bit different because people don't unanimously you know, agree who Shakespeare is, who's this man that is known around the world, probably one of the more famous people around the world. And I find it very interesting how uh, uh, there's a mask on him, on his face here. Interesting. It shows how Shakespeare is relevant to all times and, and, and places. So Shakespeare is the best known, but ironically, He's also the least known. He, everybody knows Shakespeare, about Shakespeare, studies Shakespeare, likes or hates Shakespeare, quotes Shakespeare. 
but Shakespeare is one of the, the people that we know very little about. And because we know very little about Shakespeare, this created some kind of conspiracy theories. Who is Shakespeare? Which is again, the topic of our class on uh, Tuesday. We recognize, we recognize his picture uh, on the spot. Very quickly, we, uh, uh, we know that we see the picture uh, that, uh, and then we say, okay, this is Shakespeare. We know we can name so many of his plays. We know so many of his characters and we relate to them. We, we, we become part of their, of their lives. Uh, we know many of his expressions, right? And quotes, uh, there is foul and foul fair, has not a Jew eyes, shall I compare thee to a summer's day? My mistress' eyes are nothing like uh, uh, the, the sun. Uh, uh, what else? Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? So long as men can be, the right can see. So long lives this and this gives life to thee. And many, many other uh, uh, quotes we use and we hear and we read uh, every now and then. And Shakespeare is everybody, he's everywhere. He's Hamlet, he's Romeo, he's jo Juliet, he's the sonnets, he's shall I compare thee to a summer's day, he's to be or not to be, he's the comedy, he's the tragedy, he's the tragic comedy, he's Shylock, he's King Lear, he's Cordelia. Shakespeare was translated into almost every language on earth. And this in itself is an achievement that nobody can easily uh, get. And Shakespeare managed them. This is very important because there were many other writers during and before the time of Shakespeare who didn't survive. People didn't remember them. Maybe some of them were very famous at a particular time, but later on, they just vanished. Uh, we still have their works, but they're not as famous as they were in the past. But Shakespeare managed to survive despite, you know, the, the, the uncertainty about who, who he is, despite what happened in England and, and, and around the world. And most interesting, because remember, Shakespeare is not a novelist. He is a playwright, he's a poet. Because at the time of Shakespeare, he's a dramatist. At the time of Shakespeare, the plays were mostly written in poetry. But we'll see how he uses prose sometimes here and there. But please don't say Shakespeare's novels, Shakespeare's plays, Shakespeare's plays, Shakespeare's poetry, Shakespeare's dramas, Shakespeare's comedies, Shakespeare's tragedies. And they were composed, he composed them to be performed on the stage, not to be read. And one interesting thing, when Shakespeare died in his will, you know, will was a year, he distributed his wealth and properties to people, to family, but he didn't mention his plays. And many people say, ah, because Shakespeare is not Shakespeare. And the fact is that at that time, the paper uh, copies, versions of his plays had little value. Their value was on the performance, in the performance uh, on the stage. So uh, his plays were adapted, were acted, were performed on stage in every corner around the world. And I told you last time, probably we can, uh, 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 borrow the, uh, the the performance they did here in Gaza in, in some uh, uh, some people who, who performed translated part of it adapted it into Arabic and not Arabic like just Palestinian Arabic also Hamlet and they performed it here it's 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 superb it's it's interesting I usually I do this uh, silly activity with with students please when you finish this class go to your mom and ask her if she knows Shakespeare and what she knows about Shakespeare. Go to your dad and ask him what he knows about Shakespeare or what she knows about Shakespeare. And when I post this video, I'll, I'll remind you of this question. So tell me, okay, I asked mom and dad, they don't know Shakespeare. My dad doesn't know Shakespeare, but my mom does, or my mom, etc. And tell me what education your mom or dad has. Because you will be surprised how many uh, people who had no education, who have no education, no formal education, didn't go to university, but still they know the name because they hear it here and there. I actually asked my grandma about the Shakespeare and she, she said that she heard about his name. 
and even she didn't complete the fifth uh, grade. Yeah, can can you? That that is really really beautiful. Uh, can you ask her again uh, uh, what she thinks of this person who uh, who who he is, uh, where she heard about him, uh, or to use the word Shakespeare, the name Shakespeare in a sentence. When she will be, you know, talk to her, you know. So probably, I don't know. Did did, did she uh, have a dream? And in the dream, there was like Shakespeare, oh, to be or not to be, or how? Isn't that interesting? And I, I want, if, if you have your grandparents around, you're lucky, and also go talk to them. Dad, uh, grandpa, grandma, do you know Shakespeare? Do you, have you heard of this person before? If they say no, ask them about Sheikh Zubair. Maybe they, they were alive 400 years ago when Shakespeare was a Sheikh, a Sheikh Zubair. We'll talk about Sheikh Zubair next class. So the, the interesting thing here is that little is known about Shakespeare, the man, the person, his life. And again, also little is known about he, how he looks. But remember, we don't care about the person himself, the man. We care more about the text, the plays, he composed, the literature he produced, because the text is more important than the person who produces this, more powerful, more significant in many ways. So many uh, believe that we do know a lot about, about him. Uh, uh, the interesting thing here, um, there was this person who, who believes that Shakespeare is not Shakespeare, and we keep talking all the time, and he, he once told me, listen, uh, that we, we know very little about Shakespeare. So, Maybe he didn't write these plays. And I was like, number one, I don't care. I don't care who wrote these plays. I want to enjoy and appreciate these uh, amazing productions. And number two, I told him that also very little is known about all the people around Shakespeare. Blacks compared to other people. And if we, if we if Marlowe, he was a contemporary of Shakespeare. You studied Marlowe last semester. We also know very little about Marlowe. Even Queen, you know, even the Queen, Queen Elizabeth, we don't know that much about her. So that was the, 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 the nature of the time. So people didn't write a lot. It wasn't easy to write. And many of the, the, product, the, the books published then were lost because of fires, because of floods, because of wars. So researchers have recognized close to 100 documents related to Shakespeare and his immediate family, and they tried to get uh, bits and pieces of information from here and there. And everything, in my opinion, about Shakespeare is, is funny, ironic, in a sense, and also uh, tragic sometimes and comic at the same time. Shakespeare, they, they, they discovered the, uh, some 17 signatures of Shakespeare's name. So they believe that these signatures were by Shakespeare. Him writing, signing his name here and there. And none of these 70, so you write your name in, a seven, in, in 17 ways. None of these 17 ways is the Shakespeare we use now here. Can you see this Shakespeare? So shake, you know, shake, shook, shaken, that's shake, and then spear, and then plus E. Spear is a rumah, shake. And I told you in, in the poetry course, in the, in the lecture, Shakespeare plays on his name. He puns on his name. You know, we got rough winds, do shake the darling bottom. You feel that he's, you know, using his, he's using his name. So imagine this, Shakespeare, this person writes his name in 17 different ways, none of which is the one, is the word the Shakespeare we use, we use today. Isn't that ironic? Again, some people say, ah, because this is not Shakespeare. At that time, spelling, was not standard. Ma can fee spelling the man wadah li ma kan fee So they still admit those people that in consequence there remains an enormous amount that we don't know about Shakespeare. We know a lot about Shakespeare, but we still, there is an enormous, a lot we don't know about Shakespeare. Much of it uh, is, is significant, but again, at the end of the day, we care more about the text than the author. We don't know for one thing exactly how many plays he wrote or in what order he wrote them. These are all always guesses. 
how many plays? One, the guess, the, um, the, the, the common belief is that he wrote 37 plays. Some people know, say, no, 41 or 36 or no. He cool wrote these plays. He wrote them like a couple of three or four plays with other uh, playwrights at that time. We can deduce something of what he read, but we don't know where he got that from. And when we read Shakespeare, we find traces he refers to the ancient civilization, to China, to India, to Egypt, to, uh, to Greece, to, you know, to Athens, to, to Turkey, to Muslim, to Africa. So it means he read a lot. But what did he read? When did he read that? We don't know. And honestly, we don't care. What we care about is, is the text itself. One crazy thing about Shakespeare, probably the craziest thing, is that he did not go to university. At that time, there were the greatest universities around the world, Oxford and Cambridge. And Shakespeare only attended a grammar school. So people ask, oh my God, this is crazy. How can a, a boy, a kid, who just went to a grammar school, ويصير مؤلف وكاتب وشاعر غريبة ولا لا بس تنسوش أنا أنا كان عندنا في وإحنا في في الثانوية كان في أساتذة درسونا معهم إلا توجيه وكانوا the best teachers كان زمان جماعة غزة اللي تخرج في السبعينات والثمانينات تخرج من سادس سبعينات ستينات إذا خلص سادس بتلاقيه excellent English excellent Arabic اختلف العالم الوضع اختلف so don't compare what you have today to what yeah, بمعنى إنه maybe a person who attended a grammar school 400 years ago is smarter, more intelligent than a person who attends Oxford now or Cambridge. Grammar school, you learn language, you learn grammar, you learn some Greek, so you know. So Shakespeare is everywhere. We find Shakespeare in jokes, in memes, in cartoons, in puns, in quotes. I'll show you some of this. So look at this uh, meme. It says, you know, can't find the words he's looking for. What does he do? He invents them. Shakespeare invented thousands of words. When he had trouble, he expanded the English language. In Belak, Badunas, thank Shakespeare for what he did to the English language. When he uh, for example, wanted to say something sometimes, he couldn't find the, the, the right word, he would invent a new word. It's part of the English dictionary. A, a word that is used as a noun, he would easily turn it into, a, into an adjective or a verb or vice versa. So this is very famous about Shakespeare. Because his name Sheikh, Yehuz, or Spear, you know, or Spear, but it's more Shakespeare, steady, steady, meaning thabit, عكس Sheikh, يهتز. Shuk al Mahdi. With a spear, spear, hey, Rumuh, spear, Shakespeare, but without an ear then. William Shaky spear, Shaky mana muhtaz, so the spear is, you know, you can find that funny. Hey girl, I hear you like iambic pentameter because he used iambic pentameter, especially in the, in the sonnets. Oh, yeah, that, that, that would be a funny pickup line. Oh, and I like this about the, I, uh, it's not, Professional photoshopping, but it's fun. And you know, we usually one fascinating thing about Shakespeare and English literature in general is that it's adaptable. You can change a lot about it. In English, you can change anything. I need to be or not to be, that is the question. Here, to read or not to read, that is the question. To sleep or not to sleep, to eat or not to eat, to study or not to study. Everything can be changed and adapted in, in, the, way you, in the way you like. And this is, I find this very funny. Normal kids, mom, I'm hungry. But Shakespeare, Shakespeare would be cool. What I'm talking probably next week. I'm going to take three lessons. شوية شوية step by step I'll talk about Shakespeare's language كيف نفهم شكسبير but Shakespeare could say let it be known to the birth giver that mine stomach consists of emptiness but he didn't say this Shakespeare but you know people make fun of him because how he keeps going around and around 
وهذا يا جماعه هي طبيعه الادب انا قناعتي انه اف يو لايك ليتريتشر اللي بحب الادب العربي بحب الادب الانجليزي بحب اي ادب بحب فكره الادب واحنا الانسان مجبول على حب الجمال وحب الادب يعني مثلا طلع على عنترة اي شعر لعنترة او اي شاعر ثاني هي كلام نفسه يعني عنترة بيقول شعر اي اولويز لايك تو كوت وان ايه بيقول واني قد شربت دم الاعادي باقحاف الرؤوس وما رويته وات از عنترة سينج هي سينج هي از بريف هي از فيرلس طب ليش بقول لك واني قد ديد هي ليترالي درينك ذا بلود اوف ذا انمي او هي از تيلينج يو هي از ويلينج تو دو ذس هي كان دو ات وما رويته لسه انا ضايل عطشان يعني اي وونت تو فايت اند كيل مور How I feel, I'm not sure if you feel this, I find this very funny. How I feel when I write thus on any day. One of you will write this, and you will write this, and you will Nonetheless, nonetheless, yeah, further, thus. So you feel like Shakespeare, huh? When you can't think of a good word for something, so you, can, you make a new one. And he, he's looking cool here, yeah? Okay, uh, another funny question. I want you to Google Shakespeare jokes and give me just one joke when I post this video. So you have two things to do. What your parents or grandparents think, know and think about Shakespeare. And I want you to Google Shakespeare's jokes and give me just one and tell me why you like it. What do, what do you like about it? Right. So what did people say about Shakespeare? They said great things about him. Of course, there are haters who don't like Shakespeare, but there are... The greatest people like him. Ben Johnson says he was not of an age, but he was of all time. He doesn't belong to one age. He belongs to all time. He's universal. Harold Bloom, please remember this name. Memorize this name. We'll talk a lot about him. Shakespeare's art is so indefinite that it contains us. Yani we are part of his art, of his literature. And will soon go on enclosing those likely to come after us. Shakespeare's literature includes us and those who will come after us. Shakespeare, Shakespeare's plays read me better than I read them. They understand me as a person. Well, of course, he's talking about this from the aspect, the, the prospect of, uh, of Western civilization. Elizabeth Browning, uh, Barrett Browning, whom we studied in poetry, she says, there, Shakespeare, on whose forehead climbed the crowns of the world. Shakespeare. O eyes sublime with tears and laughter for all time. He makes us cry. He makes us laugh for all the time. Dryden says, he was the man who of all modern and perhaps the ancient poets had the largest and most comprehensive soul. Nobody understands the world and understands people the way Shakespeare does. Emerson says, yet he was more original than his original. So Shakespeare copied some of his ideas. He borrowed most of his stories, like I said. And I told you, if somebody tells you Shakespeare is genius because of his stories, no. He borrowed almost all of his stories. But if he tells you Shakespeare is genius because of his plot, yes. The way he rearranged the events means he's a genius. So he borrowed some of his ideas, but he remains more original than the originals, than the people who, uh, whom he learned from, copied from. He breathed upon dead bodies and brought life to them. William Quayle says Shakespeare knows what the Sphinx thinks if anybody does. You know the Sphinx? What's the Sphinx? What is a sphinx? Do you know sphinx? Voila. Anybody? I heard about it one time in Oedipus. Oh, yeah, yeah, Oedipus, exactly. What is a sphinx? Yeah, I don't know Abu exactly. Abu Hall. Yeah. The body of a lion and the head of a human being. Is this a real creature? Fantasy. Yeah, it is fiction and it's fantasy. It's not a real uh, creature. But look at this funny thing. Shakespeare knows what the Sphinx thinks if anybody does. So 
he knows what a, a fictional character, a fictional creature thinks. And this is an exaggeration. So he knows what if if yani if there is a sphinx and the sphinx thinks Shakespeare knows. The idea here is that the man is a genius in the way you write. Inshallah, Bukhara Bashir took for Qisas Qasira or Adab or Shir or Riwayat and become authors. What makes you distinguished is how you can represent people. Hanqaran Shakespeare Marlow, ya jama'a. Marlow was amazing. You studied Marlow, Dr. Faustus, right? Like, okay, Marlow yes. nothing compared to Shakespeare. I'll talk about this later on. Asabil Misal, in in Marlow, all the women are the same. All the women are the same. Marlow doesn't know how to create female characters. But Shakespeare, wow. He has also hundreds of women, all different. The good, the bad, the strong, the weak, the poor, the king, the queen, the, queen, the, the, the princess, the mother, the wife. Impressive how he creates different people with different language. Uh, Dane uh, Terry says, and I like this last quote, how I think she, this is a woman. I'm not sure if, if Dame is a, is a man or woman. He pra she praises Shakespeare's portrayal of women, how he creates, you studied the Merchant of Venice. We, we can talk about later on that briefly, how Portia is probably Shakespeare's strongest woman of all time. Because at that society, time, society did not allow women to perform on the stage. You're not allowed to perform on the stage because you're a woman. You can't. You're, you're not intelligent. You're not intellectual. You can't be on the stage. Abe. You can't do it. So Shakespeare, look at what he did. He brought a woman. Look at the irony. A man, a young boy with a soft voice, plays the role of a woman, Portia. And then Portia disguises as a man. She only dresses as a, a man, a lawyer, and puts a fake mustache, a fake beard. And she goes to the court to defend Bassanio and Antonio. But Bassanio and what's the other one? Antonio, yeah? To defend yeah. against the most cunning, most devilish creature of all time, Shylock. Nobody could beat Shylock. But a woman. Just by, by pretending to be a man, by a fake mustache, a fake beard, she managed to beat him, to beat the unbeatable, to trick the man who's tricking everybody else. As if Shakespeare is telling us this idea that women are not equal, women are not intellectual, intellectual this idea is fake. So here, have you ever thought how much we all and women uh, uh, how much we all, and women especially, owe to Shakespeare, for his vindication of women in, in, in these fearless, uh, fearless high-spirited, resolute, and intelligent heroines, the way he created these smart women. So, and some people love Shakespeare because they say he has universal themes. Love and marriage and revenge and hate and hesitation and racism and family and lust for power and ambition and idealism and order and disorder and conflict and corrupt, corruption and political corruption and insanity and sanity and fate and reality and appearance. All these are amazing themes. And yes, they make Shakespeare great because you relate to them, whether you are Palestinian, Japanese, Nigerian, South African, Malaysian, Brazilian or Canadian or, uh, or Russian. But the themes are not everything. Shakespeare has the greatest quotes. Go today, and this is task number three. And we're just warming up. I want you to quote Shakespeare's best quotes, but don't bring some of these that I already do here, post here, because I'll give you, you don't have to take notes by the way, I'll give you the, the PowerPoint, I'll post them on, uh, on, on, on Moodle. So look at this genius. To be or not to be, that is the question. We'll talk about this because this is part of Hamlet. This is said to be the most famous English uh, uh, line of verse in humanity. All the world a stage, and all the men and women merely players. To thine own self, 
بي ترو كن صادق مع نفسك Life's but a walking shadow a poor player إذا حابين بعضكم بالذات التخصص الترجمة نقدر نعمل لقاء لقاءين خاصين في ترجمة شكسبير I would be willing to do this نعملنا لقاءين جزء من الكورس أو نخليهم اختياري optional where we talk about Shakespeare and translating Shakespeare that would be fun lives and I want you to try to do this when you're studying in the, like try to try whether you're doing translation or not lives but the walking shadow الحياة إلا خيال خيال يمشي يسير يمضي a poor player ممثل مسكين الإنسان just struts and frits his hour upon the stage you studied this in, in, in Macbeth and then as heard no more out out brief candle lives but a walking shadow my words fly up my thoughts remain below كانوا يعني بقول لك كان العين ايش بيقولوا العين بصيره والايد والايد قصيره كلامي يحلق وافكاري تبقى تحت روميو روميو وير فور ار ذاو روميو اي يوز ذس فيري اوفن باي ذا وي وين اي كول فور سم بادي ماي فريندز اور بيبول اي لايك اند اي كان فايند ذيم فبعت لهم روميو روميو وير فور ار ذاو روميو اين انت يا روميو اف ميوزك بي ذا فود اوف لاف بلاي اون واو And again, all these quotes you can change and adapt them. Like you could, you could say, if if pizza is the food of love, you know what I am going to do. Then feed me or something. What is in a name? Is she في اسم الإنسان في اسم يعني الاسم كان يقولك a name is nothing. It's what you are, who you are. A rose by another name would smell as sweet. Yani if you change the name of a rose, it will smell sweet. A horse! A horse! My kingdom for a horse. تخيلوا ملك في مرحلة معينة من حياة بنادي بيزعق بقول A horse! A horse! My kingdom for a horse. اعطوني حصان! حصان! سأعطي مملكتي لمن يعطيني حصانا. Wow! Imagine this. Beautiful. You can take some of these, by the way, and YouTube, YouTube them and see what people do. I love this. A horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse. Brevity is the soul of wit. Brevity means it's brief. مش بقولك إحنا in brief. الإيجاز, الاختصار, وروح الفطنة. There is special providence in the fall of a sparrow. Sparrow العصفور. يعني يعني كان بقولك كل شيء خلقناه بقدر. هناك قدر هناك حاجة هناك سبب عندما يقع أو يسقط العصفور and there are more and more hundreds and thousands and hundreds of thousands you can go view them later on beautiful what Shakespeare does and also Shakespeare's language he coined and made up thousands of words and expressions بعض الكلمات تستغرب العبارات اللي احنا بنعرفهم they go back to Shakespeare I am not sure if you know uh, Uh, what's that? Uh, um, there is uh, uh, vanish into thin air. It means it disappears. For example, if you are with your friend Reem, and you tell them you are going to get together, come on, Reem, join us. So you see, where is Reem? She's gone. She disappears. But Shakespeare chose the title. To vanish into thin air. بمعنى بقول لك ايش؟ اختفى في الهواء، يعني المصريين بيقولوا ايش؟ فص ملح وداب. لانه الملح بيدوب دغري. It disappeared. Where is somebody vanished into break the ice؟ نحن بقول لك let's break the ice. Love is blind, Shakespeare. Wear my heart upon my sleeve. Milk of human kindness. Laughing stock. مسخرة. بتقول على فلان كان مسخرة للطلاب أو مسخرة لكذا أو فلان مس She is a laughing stock. He is a laughing stock. Kill with kindness. يقتل بال بالطيبة. كثير في ناس بتحسوا بلاقي very kind, too kind. So you feel like, oh my God, this man is boring because he is too kind. ما فيش عنده لوم ما فيش عنده خبوس ما فيش عنده لف ودوران. It's good, but sometimes it's like, come on, he's killing me with his kindness. In my mind's eye. طلع محل التعبير مجمله. يعيني عقلي. ولا 
I can see somewhere. Where can you see him? Not in my actual eyes, in my mind's eye. In my, I love this. In my heart of hearts. قلبي قلبي. Wow. Heart of gold. Jealousy is the green-eyed monster. Look at this beautiful image here. شبه الغيرة بأنه وحش بعيون خضراء. Good riddance. يعني مشكلة get rid of. ولك فلان روح فلان كذا. Good riddance. يعني ما الجلعة. Wow. Beautiful. So Shakespeare's language. And look at the most amazing thing about Shakespeare. Is how he knows about everything. يعني نشوف الناس اللي بتشكك في who Shakespeare is. معهم حق حقيقة. This is a man who knows everything. He knows about languages, about psychology, about history, about astronomy, about civilizations, about relationships, about men, about women, about the, the royal family, about the king, about the queen, about the young, about the old, about good, about evil, about corruption, about war, about peace. Oh my God, about physics, about chemistry, about translation. How? He knows about science also, about things related to things that only science, scientists know. We'll talk about this later on in, in more detail. We find that in Shakespeare. However, look at this. Some people say, say Shakespeare was lucky. Why? Because the time he lived was the, the heyday of Renaissance, the English Renaissance. Asr al The Middle English. The English language was changing from Old English. Yani, مثلا, مسكين, uh, what's his name? Geoffrey Chaucer. He was great. He wasn't a dramatist. He was a poet. But many people don't appreciate his poetry that much today because he wrote it in, in Mish Old English, yani early Middle English. So you, you look at the English and you find it very strange. But Shakespeare's language, you recognize it. You can tell what it is. Some people say he is lucky because other rivals, المنافسين, like Marlowe, for example. Marlowe died. No, Shakespeare is Marlowe. Marlowe didn't die. He faked his death and he started publishing using Shakespeare's name. This is one of the conspiracy theories. Nazariyat Muammar. And that he lived at the time of Queen Elizabeth, the Malika Al-Azim, who was in the world of the And then when she died, King James, the Messiah Elizabethan age, I think 2001, uh, sorry, 1601, King James, the Messiah of the Jacobian age, the Asr. مش عارف شو العالم سميه جاكوبيان ايه عصر ال يعقوبي مش عارف يعقوبي غريب على العموم and then at that time it was the golden age of drama the theater Shakespeare made it the golden age but also because Shakespeare came at a time when theater and drama was dominant he was lucky for that and I want here to, to, to talk about the last thing about Shakespeare his characters and I'm quoting Harold Bloom that I just mentioned in his amazing book, Shakespeare, The Invention of the Human. هذا بيقول إنه شكسير اخترع الإنسان في الحضارة الغربية. And we live in his shadow. So I'll talk about this and then I'll give you time to uh, comment and, uh, and discuss. He says, it's some kind of miracle that Shakespeare creates different yet self-consistent voices. أنا لو بدكتب عشر قصص you'll find some of the characters are similar to each other the boy here is similar to the boy there the woman here is similar to the woman there لأنه إمكانيات أحد بات شيكسبير many different characters and different in many ways so the voices of more than 100 major characters and thousands of distinctive minor characters they are all different and they are complete human beings يعني but the time he gives you about Hamlet, he creates a complete human being. You know the word bard? Look at this, the first part of this word, bard. Bard means the poet. When you see this word, it means the bard, it Shakespeare. The bard. So bard the literary, bard the literary, sorry, is the worship, excessive admiration of Shakespeare. I'm suffering personally, I suffer from this. Uh, kind of disease. I have excessive admiration for Shakespeare. Hopefully it's good and hopefully you will learn from that. Shakespeare's plays remain the outward limit of human. Achievement and creativity. 
اقصى حد بيصلوا الابداع شيكسبير وصل والله يعطيكم العافيه يا جماعه in the past now and in the future nobody is going to write literature that is even close to shakespeare shakespeare's achievement aesthetically cognitively in certain ways morally and spiritually من كافه النواحي الاخلاقيه والفكريه والجماليه they abide beyond the end of the man of man's reach nobody is going to reach shakespeare's genius shakespeare will go on to explain us because in part he invented us he invented the western uh, people and this might not apply to us as palestinians as arabs as muslims as non-europeans but it sure does influence us so he says that shakespeare created us the dominant number seven the dominant shakespearean characters extraordinary are extraordinary instances not only of how many how meaning it started rather than repeated but also how new modes of consciousness come into being like I'll, I'll later on explain many of these ideas like for example macbeth you studied macbeth this he created this uh, person this man a good man a fighter who turns in just one minute turns into a mass murderer evil he was good and we'll probably mention that maybe 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 macbeth killed the king because the king was weak مش عارف اذا انتوا انتبهتوا لها ولا لا يا جماعه في بدايه المسرحيه مكبيث ايش بيكون في بيكون there were rebellions against the king البوليتكس الخفيه واضح انه الملك ضعيف ومكبيث was more powerful than him فيمكن اجى في بال مكبيث if i kill this man i will protect the kingdom But there is a good question here. Does evil, يعني can you use evil to justify good? Does the end justify the means? هل الغاية تبرر الوسيلة? Is it okay to do a little evil to gain a greater good? الورطة إنه أنت يمكن تصل لمرحلة like if you lie or if you cheat. بقول لك مش مشكلة بغوش إيش علي ما كل الناس بتغوش. المهم اجيب امتياز طب لو صرت انت ان مسكت مثلا that's horrible you could be destroyed او if you get used to it because man by nature and woman is lazy we want things to be easy we want to be spoon fed so no world author rivals shakespeare لا يا احد ينافس shakespeare nobody competes with him after jesus christ i, I quoted it before hamlet is the most cited figure بعد المسيح Hamlet is the most cited figure in western consciousness no one prays to him ما حدا بيصلي وبيدعي له Hamlet صحيح but no one evades him for long either لا احد يستطيع ان يتملص ويهرب من Shakespeare بكره مثلا some of you say oh my god Shakespeare I don't want to do Shakespeare I don't like Shakespeare تتفاجئوا في امتحان ترجمة في امتحان القبول في امتحان كذا هوب اللي هو شكسبير عنده يلا جاوبوا شكسبير and this reminds me of المتنبي ممكن في الأدب العربي يعني أعظم كاتب وشاعر في الأدب العربي هو المتنبي and there is this funny story about المتنبي someone not sure if it's true or not someone hated المتنبي Everywhere he goes, قال المتنبي وحسب ما قال المتنبي وكما قال المتنبي. And he kept running from one city to the other, one town to the other. بعدين قال بدور على بلاد فارس. Nobody knows Arabic there. Nobody is going to mention المتنبي. فراح وصل إيران. And he arrived there on Friday. Went to attend uh, Friday uh, afternoon prayer. وفي خطبة الجمعة اللي هو الخطيب الفارسي بيقول وكما قال المتنبي كذا وكذا. فهي قال طب خلاص يعني if I if if they know المتنبي in Persia I need to go back home وخلاص I need to live with the fact that I can't evade المتنبي like we can't evade Shakespeare so there is a big question here why Shakespeare the answer is simple according to Harold Bloom who else is there and if we don't want to study Shakespeare if we don't want to enjoy appreciate Shakespeare ده معلش يعني بلا بلا تشبيه معلش I'm sorry for this زي اللي بحبش مسلسل فريندز مثلا فتطلع عليه انا واحد بقول لك اي دونت لايك فريندز فتطلع عليه وات ايلس از ذير اف يو دونت لايك او بحبش ميسي مثلا طلع عليه هيك كيف 
هذا كيف هاو هاو دي واتش فوتبول او رونالدو اذا انت بتحب رونالدو بدناش نزعل المدريديه فذا كويستشن از واي شيكسبير واي نوت هو ايلس از ذير نوبل هي ميد انجلش كلتشر not exactly but he helped english the english language he helped make english uh, 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 universal language in addition to many other many other uh, reasons i'll stop here i finished my uh, uh, my lecture for today and i want to hear from you i want your comments i want your questions i i can see so many comments here can i yeah go on please well it is a personal theory um that i want just to share about shakespeare um in my in i conclude that he is successful because of two things the main mm -hmm. two things the major two things first of all he is talent and genius the second is the chance what i mean about talent and genius um he's from a young young age i don't know the exact how he read and how he had his knowledge but we had we know that he is talent and he's a really genius. What I mean about that, that his characters is not just the characters, they are a human living being that had that have many faces and many sides. Okay, interesting. So there is so it's born no, he's he's born with a talent, but he also worked hard to improve. Yes. Number two is his pattern. And because and I mean that every begin any beginner that want just to get inside and um and want to be famous um his opponents and his uh, contemporary will just like push him back so his patron just um recognized his talent and he was really really good and genius in advertisement marketing publishing i mean that in our rules if you just like made in a book and that book was really really good but if you don't know how to publish and market to this book it will be just set on the rack okay but, but don't, his forget, was don't forget uh, really genius Farah. To his team. okay Farah, don't forget that he didn't try to be published but yes i agree with you shakespeare did an amazing job because later on he owned the globe he was the owner of the globe he was an actor by the way he started his life as an actor so yeah, thank you for bringing this to me, because he himself was a good actor. He understood the stage, he understood the theater, he understood the audience, and he managed to compose something that would attract all the people, that would make the people appreciate and love this play and come again and tell people to go watch Hamlet or Macbeth or Othello or King Lear or Romeo and Juliet or other plays. Uh, okay, thank you, Farah. Thank you very much. One more, somebody. Can I say? Yeah, go on, briefly. Um, I want to say that the people who uh, who believe that uh, Shakespeare uh, uh, Shakespeare doesn't didn't wrote all of that uh, can't be blamed in a way or another, since uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, uh, university wits in the in the time of Shakespeare wrote a statement to his colleagues, uh, the other university which that uh, there is, um, there is a, a grammar school graduate uh, admitting his ability to write uh, a play, uh, uh, the blank verse as, as we do, mm. uh, like to warn them because um, it wasn't uh, accepted. Um, if you are not a university wit, you can't write uh, a play. So how, how it come? And then when he when Shakespeare uh, published uh, his uh, his play Henry the Fourth, I think uh, they wrote him an apology that yes um, he has the ability to okay. write. But again, sense. don't forget that he didn't publish. Stop saying he published. He didn't publish. When he, when, when he wrote something, he sent a copy to the to the actors to be acted. But yeah, yeah, some people. Well, some people during the time of Shakespeare hated him. They looked down upon him. معلش يعني بدون مبالغة بنشوف هذا الطلاب يجي طالب لغة إنجليزية وطالب هندسة فلما طالب الهندسة يكون أشطر منه في الترجمة بتلاقي طالب الإنجليزي بتضايق. And like what? No, you're not good. ليش قلت إزها مش إزها هذه آر. You know you want to look down upon people. 
you know, to patronize them because you have a certificate and they don't. You expect people only with a degree to do something. Mariam? Uh, okay. In fact, I was surprised when uh, taking a look on the chronological order uh, of his plays, of writing and performing his plays. You know, I feel like uh, there's no reason, a reasonable period for each play to read and edit and perform. So I suppose uh, we don't have the exact plays that were performed on the stage uh, there. And uh, I'm sorry to say that, but I go with the critics who doubt on Shakespeare's writings and character. Say again, you, 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 you believe that Shakespeare is not Shakespeare? You agree? I'm doubting because there's no reasonable time for every play to be written and edited and performed. We, and this is going to be for next class. So next class, read about who is Shakespeare. We'll talk about uh, the theory and we'll come uh, to a particular conclusion ourselves. But no matter what it is that you believe, remember, the text is more significant than the author. You studied something probably with Dr. Akram, death of the author, mawtil al-katib. It means the author is important, but once he or she publishes, writes something, the text is now more important. Voila. Commenting on what Maria, Mariam said, but I just want to say that uh, like, uh, it's not a big deal uh, if Shakespeare is the one who wrote the text or not. Um, I believe Shakespeare uh, was discriminated against because, uh, as you said, he was like a, a grammar school graduate. So it, it's just like how you said, like uh, um, a person who's studying engineering and another one who's like uh, studying English. It's just like that. I think he was discriminate, discriminated against. That's why he was like um, mm -hmm. uh, underrated, maybe. Yeah, yeah. But I, I like this. Uh, I like to look at it from this perspective because we see this nowadays even. Ibn al Qariya, Hada Fallah, Hada Badawi, Hada Mahajir, Hada Laji, Hada Madani, Hada Hadari, Hada Ishbi Fahmo. We see this nowadays. Yes, there is some kind of discrimination against people outside London. I mean, Hada Mishib in London, Yami, Hada Mishib in Oxford, Mishib in Cambridge. How come? Why is he better than us? So let's exactly like they did to, to John Dunn, remember? John Dunn suffered something similar. Uh, Anybody other than Reem and Farah? I want to hear from people who didn't speak. Okay, anybody? One minute Farah, only one minute, and one minute Reem. Okay, uh, I'm sorry because the Wi-Fi was cut, but I want just to say that I want to continue. And I want to say that um, a lesson for me and to everyone here, that in our world here, in the 20th century that we sometimes have the chance, but we are not ready for it. And sometimes we are ready for it, but we don't see the chance. So if you want to be as Shakespeare, I think we have to be ready and then a chance will just come. Okay. <laughs> that's it. That's... Okay, that's, that's a very Shakespearean way to philosophize uh, this idea. Thank you, Farah. Finally, Irim. Um, I want to respond to Mariam uh, about if Shakespeare uh, has or, do, or, or uh, doesn't ha have the time to write. Uh, actually, we, we don't know if if he actually borrows uh, from someone's other uh, someone's uh, story, or if he or, or if his writings were like uh, collaborations with uh, with the others, uh, as we as we see in um, Marlowe's Doctor uh, Doctor Faustus and Shakespeare's Macbeth, there are a lot of similarities, but um, it was uh, Shakespeare's wit in rewriting the characters uh, in a more uh, lovely way, or uh, his language was uh, more attractive. That's it, maybe. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, the, somebody wrote something that I love here at the end. What, what, what is that? Uh, Diana Abwada says, yeah, doctor, it's bit better. Of course, yeah, yeah, I do, I exaggerate. Don't forget that we're studying drama. And in essence, drama is an exaggeration of life. I remember 
the first time I watched Shakespeare, that was like uh, 25 years ago. I was like, oh my God, what is this? And then I realized because we watch a lot of Egyptian uh, drama, with, uh, well, let's say the Shagal, Madrasa al Mushagibin, and Akhiri. لاحظوا يا جماعة اللي مش متعود على المبالغة بنسجمش مع المسرح. The, the theater is basically exaggerating life in a particular way. Too funny, too sad, too absurd, you know, too silly, too ridiculous, too serious. And meaning, meaning this is a feature of drama. It takes one aspect of life and it, it exaggerates it so people can get it, so people can interact and take, and take action. So yeah. Let's do some kind of uh, exaggeration for the sake of drama, and uh, for the and you'll find you'll find this really uh, interesting. I'll stop here. Thank you for participating, everybody. Uh, I'll uh, upload the video on YouTube, and I'll upload the PowerPoint to uh, our Moodle so you can download it and get the information. Thank you very much. Our classes will be uh, Sunday and Tuesday at. Uh, 5 uh, 40 or 5 30 until we pray in Maghrib and then we come back. Uh, you, you pray Maghrib and then we start, so probably at 5 uh, 5 40, uh, twice, uh, twice a week, not three times. Thank you.